And now, WJCL News, working for you. WJCL continues our investigation of Monkey Island. The island off the coast of South Carolina is filled with monkeys. According to an urban legend, they were brought in for medical testing and experiments. So I went to the island to find out exactly what's going on and why the animals were brought there. A very interesting story. You know, the more I learned about this, the more intrigued I became. And as we search for the real story behind Monkey Island. After an hour and a half, Monkey Island could be seen from a distance. An impressive tree line, roughly 100 yards from shore. Not your typical vacation spot. And the no trespassing signs make it even less inviting and more illegal. Researchers tell us this is private property, but they confirm there are at least 4,000 monkeys there. When we get there, Captain Wally circles around the island and we begin our search. Yeah, they're monkeys. Yeah, they're sitting on the st stump there. Yeah, I see them on that stump. To the left. Yeah, there's some more oh, coming. Right. Yeah. yeah, there's another one coming. <laughs> there you go, there you go. You lucky people, you lucky. There's another one on top of that. Yeah, there's another one. Must be a dozen of them. Back into the woods now. Well, that was worth the patience of waiting. After our trip, we took our findings to David Tom for some clarity. The local legend is there's this secret colony of monkeys over there. We got, you know, uh, Dr. Moreau in the in the secret island, but there's there's no validity to that whatsoever. It's a breeding colony that was established in 1979 for Food and Drug Administration for production of animals uh, for the testing of the polio vaccine, the Sabin vaccine. How do you know all this? Because I'm the one who started it. Todd was recruited to be the scientist in charge of Monkey Island in 1979. He put the project together and established the colony, running it for 20 years. He says testing is done on some of the monkeys, just not there. Animals would be sent to the Bethesda campus of Food and Drug Administration where the polio vaccine testing took place. According to the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, research continues on the monkeys today, but they won't say for what. And although that testing is done elsewhere, there are still concerns locally. Any way these monkeys can escape? Sure. <laughs> they swim. <laughs> They're good swimmers. These are wild animals. These are not domesticated animals. And adult males have canines that are two inches long and are razor sharp. And if they want to, they can do you a world of hurt. And so we prohibited people from coming on the island. That's part of how the urban legend started with, they won't let us come on the island, then something's going on over there we shouldn't know about. Tob is no longer affiliated with the island, but thinks today the research has shifted from things like polio to finding vaccines and cures for diseases and viruses like Marburg, HIV, maybe even Ebola. He says the state of South Carolina owns the land. The monkeys are property of the U.S. government. And if you're thinking about heading to the island this weekend, think again. It's private property. You will be arrested for trespassing.